Good day, good day everybody and once again we're back together. All right, and we are still continuing on that technical maths grade 11 exemplar. Right, if you haven't subscribed, please just make sure you are part of the family. All right, and uh, let's get into the question. So we've already answered question one to seven, so you can go and go ahead and watch those. But in question eight, they say the graph below represents f of x, which is minus 2x squared minus 3x plus 2. The points A, B, and C are the intercepts with the axes of f of x. D is the turning point of f of x. Right, now let's quickly have a look at this. We've got a parabola, that's for sure, right? And they say to us, calculate the length of AB. Now note, A and B are the x-intercepts. So we would need to find out what are the coordinates of A and B respectively so that we can work out what that distance is. So for x-intercepts, we're going to say f of x is equal to 0. So that's going to be minus 2x squared minus 3x plus 2. This is equal to 0. I'm going to multiply everything by negative 2, uh, negative rather, uh, so that it changes sign. 2x squared plus 3x minus 2. And this is equal to 0. Now let's factorize that. So we've got 2x and x over there. Now we want to make sure that uh, the middle term gives us 3x. So we're going to have to have 4x as well as x, right? Uh, rather, so this is going to be 2. And so this is going to be 1. Okay. Right. And so we make sure that 4x is positive, And that's negative. So in this case, this is equal to 0. And so what do we have? We've got x is equal to 1 over 2 or x is equal to negative 2. So that means a is negative 2 and b is 1 over 2. But what did we want? We wanted the distance a, b. And please note this is just a horizontal line. Okay. So if it's a horizontal line, it means that distance a, b will be the difference between the x values. So AB will simply be B minus A. And so that's 1 over 2 minus a negative 2. Oops. Uh, I'm not sure what just happened there. Okay. Right. So that's minus a negative 2. And so this will give us 2.5 units. Remember, we're looking for the distance. And so that would be two and a half units. Uh, I'm not sure why my machine is glitching. Uh, 2.5 units. All right. Okay, and the next one we are now looking for, they say write down the coordinates of C. So that's the y-intercept, okay? And please note, for the uh, graph, the, the parabola, we know that the y-intercept is always the constant term. So I can already say that um, the, the coordinates of C are going to be where x is 0 and y is 2. Okay? If you want to know that, how we got to that, well, I know the y-intercept. This is where x is equal to 0. So you just simply say f of 0. That's minus 2 times 0 squared, minus 3 times 0, plus 2. And so you'll find that this is equal to 2. And that's the value over there. So that's 0 and 2. Okay, right. Now let's go on to the next question. They say determine the coordinates of the turning point uh, f of x. So for the turning point, there are two ways in which you do that, but uh, let's stick to the, um, you know, the conventional way. So the x value of the turning point, we will say, well, that's minus b divided by 2a. So our b value is the coefficient of the x term. So that's negative, that's minus 
a negative 3. Right? So remember that minus B was already there. So minus and our B value is negative 3 divided by 2 times uh, A is negative 2. So what do we have? We end up with minus 3 over 4. So of course, a negative times a negative at the top there would be positive 3. But 2 times negative 2 would be negative 4. So the answer would be minus 3 over 4. Now, we're looking for the coordinates, right? So we know the x value of the turning point is going to be minus 3 over 4. But what would be the y value? So the y value, what we are simply going to do is we are, we are going to substitute minus 3 over 4 into that equation, the original equation. So minus 2 times 3 over 4, negative 3 over 4 squared, minus 3 times negative 3 over 4, that's plus 2. And so, um, let's calculate that, negative 2 into minus 3 over 4, Right, all squared. Oops. Okay, so that's that's negative three over four squared. Right, minus three into negative three over four, and finally that's plus two. Okay, so I get a value 25 over 8, or you can say 3.13, okay? Right, so which means that the coordinates of the turning point will be where x is minus 3 over 4, and 3.125, or we can say 25 over 8, and that's 25 over 8. And that's how we are going to get that y value of the turning point. And finally, ladies and gents, they say write down the maximum value of f of x. Well, the maximum value is the y value of the turning point. Okay, so that means that that is simply going to be... Okay, or you can just simply say maximum point is equal to 25 over 8, or you can say uh, that's 3.125. And essentially, that's how the cookie crumbles, ladies and gents. Uh, very important. Of course, uh, there, could, there could have been other things that we could have asked here, uh, but in essence, that is how the cookie crumbles for this question. So we will look at question 9 next, but for now, it's really been a pleasure being with you. I hope this was helpful to you. I'll see you guys again next time. Shop, shop.